is Val and welcome back to Val's Kitchen. So what I'm gonna do today is just a liquor beetroot with some carrots, you know, with milk. No, with milk, but you have choices, in it, you know. But I like it with milk. If I don't use it, do it this way, I just cannot have the beetroot. You understand? But you can do your beetroot and your carrot with ginger or lime and so. You know, guys, but I just do it this way. I'm just doing it this way, but we can enjoy it this way. So, I have, uh, I have to have some milk, some condensed milk, some nutmeg, cinnamon powder, and vanilla. Right? It's a simple little sub, but you know it tastes good? Yeah. So, I'm just gonna put this together. I'm gonna cut up the carrots and cut up the, the beetroot and put everything together and blend them up and just show your mother do it and just get this nice little refreshing juice you can have this all for a meal Trina yes you can have it for a meal it's full of belly and you're just gone all right guys so let me get this together all right it's already scrape them scrape them and wash them yeah i'm just scrape them off But you don't know. So they're not the extra big ones, so you just buy the smaller one. But you still get what you're supposed to get from them anyway. So them red thing here, they drain out. You two drain out. Drain out on it. Bad man. Guys, tell me how you like your beetroot. Use too much water because if you use too much water, just use water to just cover, just cover the, the carrots and the beetroot. <laughs> reason why I'm, if you realize I'm kind of peel off some of the, the, the skin I'm kind of peel off some of the skin because you know the skin kind of make it I don't peel all of the skin you now I don't peel off all the skin the skin might, might kind of make it overpowering with the dirt so you know beetroot is from the is from the real root is a root guys you know that beetroot I don't know if it's a, it's a, it grow from the root or it's a root itself you understand? So you kind of have this extra dirt taste. So that's why I'm kind of peel off some of the, the, the skin. Not all of the skin though, some. Yes. And you still get some of the nourishment from. Because you know the skin, them said skin have all. Skin having all the, the nutrients. So, you know, I don't peel off all the skin. Alright? I'm gonna put less water. Just about a cup full right now. Or two cups. You're gonna use two cups full now. But the beetroot is real strong. So I can use a little more water. Alright? So I'm just pouring a small amount. But we don't want it too watered on you know guys. We still want it kind of it rich the same way, you know? We want it rich and nice here, so we don't want a lot of water. <laughs> I have the thing where we get out all the juice. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. Because I make a juice. A carrot, carrot juice thing. I'm going to use it. It really gets out all of the trash. And I have to strain it over and over and over. So I'm going to use it now. Alright. Yeah. So you see this now? I'm going to strain from this. Get from the strainer. I'm still going to strain it over. Get out everything from it. Alright. So that's why I'm going to use this cloth. The cloth here now. The strainer thing. Because I'm going to cloth my tea set. No residue. You know. okay. Get out all the juice without any trash. No trash at all. One squeeze. And get out all the juice. 
Feels strong. Mm -hmm. We have to make sure it says that's why when we know the kitchen, we have to make sure it says we're hands clean, you know. All right, so we have to make sure it says everything clean that we're using. Mm -hmm. All the trash, see? I'm going to be beetroot in the beetroot rich in it. And we just don't like it with a, just the, the ginger and the lime. Or just alone, just like this. Maybe I have, have to try and drink it this way. I'm going to have to tap it up, thin it up a certain way. You know? It's really good for the blood, build the blood count and then something there. But we have to do it now. We have to get. You know, we can't, we're supposed to go and get when we get out. I see and we like when we do it like this. So guys, comment down below how you like your beetroot or your carrots. Two tablespoons of vanilla and a teaspoon of nutmeg. About a quart of juice and get from it still. A quart, quart. I'm going to do it Everybody loves it. Jaden, the other day, we make it and Jaden said, Grandma, you can't make it because it really tastes like ice cream. I can't make some more. And the kids say, love it. It tastes like ice cream. We am going to do it like this. You can't use any milk of your choice, you know. So, guys, simple and nice. Rich and nice. You see the richness? Look, rich and nice. So, um, taste it. Taste it very, very nice. Just perfect. But if it wasn't the milk, it would have a darker color. But with the milk now, it have a lighter pinkish color. So, guys, just chill this. Put in your free refrigerator. But I'm just doing this for the outro. You understand? For the display. But when I do it, just put it in the refrigerator, in the refrigerator and let it chill. Yeah, you don't want the ice in there if it's water, it don't so. You know guys, so just chill it. Nice, like a refreshing juice. Yeah. So guys, tell me how you like your, down in the comments, just tell me how you like your carrot, your beetroot. If you like it with the milk or if you like it with the lime or if you just do it and just drink it like that. I mean, I have to cock up my nose and drink the beetroot, so. It's real strong, you know, powerful and nice, or very nutritious. Blood building. It's a blood builder. You understand? But anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Turn on the post notification bell. Put the settings on all, guys. Turn on the post notification bell, no matter watch the video, them, no, guys. Watch up the video, them, no, guys. <laughs> Thanks again and see you in the next one and bye.